What's up guys, Chout60 here and welcome to part 3 of Ghost Recon Jungle Storm. In this mission we are tasked with performing a raid against an enemy occupied train yard in order to demolish the weapons cache. The caches are divided up between two warehouses as seen here. To start off with I'm going to move my team onto, I guess you could call it a cliff. Saves us from walking straight through the front door, I guess. We're just going to go all the way around and try and pick off some patrols and sentries from a distance before we move in on the facility proper. As always, I'm running a four-man team split into two elements, with Bravo carrying the machine gun force suppressor fires. This mission is the first in the Jungle Storm campaign to be set at night. It's been a while since I've played through the game, so I'm not sure how many night missions are actually in the game after this. Night vision is very handy in game, of course. Makes units far more visible, as you can see my teammates are practically glowing when you look at them. We're approaching the top of the cliff now, it really starts to open up to a wide area here. We're just going to set everyone to a recon mode, that way we can move stealthily so as to not get spotted. As we do that, we'll split off as well to cover a wider area. I think now would be a good time to explain a little bit about the ROE and ordering system in this game. Basically you have three ROE states which are Recon, Assault and Suppress. Recon is the slowest moving state but also the most cautious. Before we continue we'll just take care of this uh, enemy patrol. Should be able to pick them off easily but we'll get Bravo to suppress just in case. So back to ROE, the assault state is basically the standard ROE, they will fire at any target they can effectively engage using aim shots and short controlled bursts. The last order is suppress, and in this state the AI will engage all targets they can see with high volumes of automatic fire, even if they can't effectively hit them. This is used to pin down enemy forces so friendly units can move in to finish them off. This is used to pin down enemy forces so friendly units can move in to finish them off. It 
It's the most uh, aggressive posture, but you can burn through ammo quite quickly, so it's best to use when commencing an attack, or if an uh, unexpected enemy appears. Okay, so we're just about to approach an enemy camp. Our objective here is to secure it so the enemy can't radio in for reinforcements. I'm going to get my team to sneak in as close as we can without getting spotted. Bravo should be able to set up a good firing position on the camp about here. They can cover and suppress while Alpha assaults through. Right, the enemy are probably aware now, so we'll get Bravo to speed up a bit. Doesn't appear to be too heavily occupied. Okay, so it looks like Bravo has spotted contacts in the camp. We'll get them to open fire. And they can cover us as the Alpha closes in. Change of plan, we'll get Bravo to push in as well. Seems they've engaged as much as they can from the cliff. We'll get the whole team to clear the camp together. There's a radio we need to destroy. Objective one completed. And that completes the first objective. On our way. Time to move on to the main objectives. Okay, so we're on approach to the warehouses. I left Bravo behind so they can cover our approach. As Alpha moves in to secure them. Coming up on the first building, we'll get Bravo to move up and keep watch outside. Confirmed. 
Looks like moving Bravo up was a good idea. They appear to have taken down some approaching enemy. Might get them to move up a bit more for the next building. I'm using a controller of course, so close quarters is a bit clunky in this game. We're here. Objective 2 completed. Alright, so that's the main objective complete. Just a couple more things to do before we complete the mission. Our next objective is just to our south, we need to clear out another warehouse being used to store weapons. And finally, we need to bug a helicopter that's parked near there. We'll get Bravo on the flank to cover us as we approach. A few guys on sentry, we can take them on easy. That was close. It looks like we're clear, so let's carry on. Some nice shooting from Bravo there. As long as you move your AI teams around in a way that allows them to cover each other, you'll find that they're pretty proficient and you can trust them to watch your back. If you move sensibly, that is. You won't get away with sending them up towards a machine gun nest, for example. This looks like a good overwatch position, so we'll set Bravo and the gun up here. Since we've got the high ground, we'll try to pick off as much enemy as we can before moving in. get Bravo to move up now that we're close. We'll have them secure the perimeter of the building while we clear the interior.
Objective 3 completed. Alright, build and clear and the objective complete. All that's left to do now is to bug the enemy helicopter. Still some scattered enemies around. There's a chopper. Objective four, mission completed. And it looks like we won. This was part three of Ghost Recon Jungle Storm. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.